Hello, hello, witchy sisters and brothers. How's everybody doing out there? Good, I'm hoping. I'm doing good. I'm still alive. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, maybe taking the time now since spring is right around the corner for a lot of people. Um, not everybody, of course. If you're on the other side of the globe, you're probably the opposite weather, you know, seasons than what we are. But today I wanted everyone to maybe take a minute and think about connecting with herbs and or plants for this summer, this spring. You know, like maybe pick out two or three that you're going to connect with and learn all about and, you know, see if you resonate uh, with these plants. And I'm going to give you some really good books that I think would help everybody kind of, you know, go through the books, kind of read just a little bit, just kind of skim through some different uh, herbs, plants, you know, botanicals. See what resonates with you. See what really piques your interest that you'd like to learn more about. And maybe buy starter plants or seeds and grow them from scratch. And just really work with them this year. A good book, if you're interested in herbs for medicinal purposes, is this book. It's called The Herbal Medicine maker's handbook a home manual and here's the author I got this on Amazon really good book it has got so much information in it it's just it gives you even like for rose cream it gives you the recipe for that and the instructions and what it's good for um, the nature of vinegar and vinegars, how to make homemade vinegars. And it's got a picture here of this chapter. Oh, let's see if I can get this on camera. I'm so bad about getting stuff on camera. But this book is just filled with numerous, numerous information. Let me grab my other stack. Over. We have Secret Craft of the wise magical herbalism this is also by Scott Cunningham that's a good book to have in your library repertoire sacred herbs the master book of herbalism by Paul Byrell this is a really good book too it has a lot of information in it. It tells you kind of what the planetary um, associations are with different herbs. Whoops, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably too small. But anyway, it's a really good book. It's got a lot of good information on it. Like it talks about coffee and and tells you all about it. So that's a good book. Medicinal Herbs, again, if you're interested, this is by Rosemary Gladstar. Medicinal Herbs, A Beginner's Guide. And this has got pictures along with information. I got all these on Amazon. So, you know, I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up as to chamomile is that page. But they've got beautiful colored photographs. And just all kinds of growing tips and you know that's a good one the other one that's good is the complete herb source book by David Hoffman that's a good one the modern herbal dispensatory a medicine making guide That's a good book, too. Lots of information. Butcher's Broom, Burdock, Butter Burr Root. It gives you the dosage amounts. Bugleweed, Buckhorn. 
Brigham T. Buka or Buku. Baswalia. I mean, it just gives you all kinds of stuff for kids, liniments, tinctures. Um, gives you color diagrams and instructions. So this is a really good book if you're interested in herbs. And then, of course, what everybody owns is the Encyclopedia Nine Magical Herbs. I don't know. But anyhow, so those are my book recommendations. But you should be keeping a journal. Whoops, avalanche. Hang on, guys. i got to put my books away. Recommendations. So what I would suggest is keeping a journal. And writing down just three, four, or up to six um, herbs or you know plants that you're interested in and just keep a journal just generically write a few facts about them maybe look into them just a little bit on the internet see if it still resonates with you maybe order a couple of the herbal or medicinal you know books on plants and stuff or magical uses and then decide you know maybe three or four of them for this year you're going to really study in depth and you're going to grow and you're going to use in your workings and you're going to journal about the feelings or the visions or, um, you know, specifics about the, the plant. You know, write about how it looks, how it feels, how it smells, how it resonates with you, the feelings you get when you hold it, smell it, you know what I mean, work with it. And just kind of expand your knowledge that's how I did it over the years I just picked three or four a year and then I grew them and you know got books and, and did reading like through the winter winter time is usually when I do a lot of my research and reading and I watch videos and movies and speaking of movies oh my god okay I couldn't find anything I wanted to watch the other day just a second, my hair is driving me nuts. Okay, so I went on to Amazon Prime, and there is a series. It's got four seasons, and what is it called? About Erica, I believe that's what it's called. I I've seen that for so long, and I've never even watched an episode. I think it's Being Erica or something like that. That is such a good show. I mean, I'm addicted to Outlander, so I, of course, am watching that every Sunday night, the new episode. Yay! Jamie's so dreamy, isn't he? Is he not? So romantic. If it was only that way in real life, my lord, I'd be all Twitter-pated all the time. You both would get sick of watching. You all would get sick of watching me if I had a Jamie. So anyway, you know, this video is to encourage you to pick out some herbs or plants and and, and just expand your knowledge that way. That's the best way that you can learn is hands-on. And if you have any questions or if you want, you know, specific herb suggestions to maybe take up this year to learn about in depth and to work with, post them down below. I'd love to hear. What, what three to four herbs are you thinking about maybe um, dedicating this year to 2020 to get to know on a personal level? you know, to work on your witchy skills. And I also wanted to put in just a little footnote. <clears throat> Having a magical lifestyle, because it's a lifestyle, just like you've seen guys that don't live on a ranch in Montana, but they wear the cowboy hats, the long trench rancher coats, the cowboy boots, the tight jeans, the the plaid button-up shirts, you know what I'm saying? They aren't really ranchers or cowboys, but it's a lifestyle, right? I'm just using that as an example. Witchiness and, and magical uh, lifestyle, not every single thing that you do during the day of every single day, 365 days a year, is witchy. You know what I'm saying? We've got to clean toilets. We've got to clean tubs. We have to run a household. We have to do laundry, dishes, put dishes away, sweep, mop, vacuum, carpet clean, right? Cook dinner, cook lunch, make breakfast, make lunches for our children or our men 
and send them out the door, you know what I mean, to earn that money. Um, if you're on a homestead, you've got to take care of animals. You've got to take care, you know what I'm saying? Not everything that you do is going to be witchy, so to speak. I mean, you can implement witchiness and magic in, in you know, doing your floors or you know, you can use essential oils when you're wiping down counters and, and cleaning toilets and, and all of that. You could, you know, implement your witchy lifestyle into everything that you do if you want to. But it doesn't look witchy. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So, you know, I'm going to start sharing videos that just shows you little snippets of my daily life. And it's not all going to look witchy. I mean, it's just, it's life for all of us, but that's part of who I am. I'm not just a witch, just, you know, that's just a small piece of me, small little portion, just a tiny little piece to the puzzle of who I am. So, you know, I'm going to be sharing videos that aren't necessarily witchy, is what I'm saying. They're not going to look witchy, but... You know, that's part of who I am. And so if you want to truly get to know who I am, then maybe that will interest you to tag along. I'm going to share recipes of just, you know, good home down Midwestern cooking. Um, I'm going to show you flowers in a flower garden that I want to do this summer. Um, I'm going to share gardening because that's part of my life. I love plants, indoor plants, outdoor plants, flowers, veggies, herbs. I get into that, so I'm going to start showing more of that. Um, you know, I will share more videos down the road on different oils, and I will also do more videos on herbs like I've already started, but I get burned out quick. I have a really short attention span, I think. It's like I do something and then I get burned out and I don't want to do it for a while or for quite a while. And then I pick it back up and do a few more videos on it, on those topics. And then, okay, I'm burned out on that now. So you're just going to have to be a hummingbird with me because that's kind of what I am. I kind of, you know, do this for a little bit, do this topic for a little bit, do that topic for a little bit. Buzz, 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 do this craft. Okay, now I'm burned out on that. Now I'm going to do this craft. Now I'm going to, you know, that's just kind of how I roll. So, this is going to be a short video. I just wanted to bop in and put that uh, idea out there to the witchy community and my sisters and my brothers. And just say, you know, think about maybe starting a gardening journal or an herb journal or you know, something of that, and try to decide and pick out, you know, three or four of them that you want to work with personally this year to help build your knowledge, to see how you feel working with them in your workings, to really learn everything, the, the look of the leaves, the look of the flowers, when fall comes and the plants starting to die back before winter, you know, what does that look like? You know, just really get in there and, and really grow your knowledge you know what I'm saying on on some different plants okay guys have a great day and until next video blessings mm -hmm.